Hey guys, this is Mark at jazzguitarlessons.net. Welcome to the short vlog. I felt it was way too nice out to, uh, to hang out in the studio today, so you have to forgive my yellow shades. So today I just want to talk about something that happened in uh, an interaction I had with a one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching student, which is, uh, which is actually about rushing. Uh, as you know, there are several tools you can use when you're playing standards. Like one of my methods I use is called, uh, uh, there's the three pillars that I talked about in a recent vlog. There's also the four course exercise that you can find a video. I'll put a link here on the description, which is, hey, this is a measuring stick. Let's play the song and see where you mess up so you know what you have to work on. Right? Pretty obvious, right? And then this student this morning submitted a video of a bebop, a Charlie Parker head, and pushed himself which I found amazing, and I'll tell you exactly why and what to do with it. And uh, I can't help but, but think of the, the time uh, I watched that movie. You know, are you a rusher? Are you a dragger? Are you going to play on my fucking time? You know, you know that movie? What's it called? Whiplash. Great movie. Check it out. So what is rushing? Rushing, in a word, is just playing ahead and even like ahead of the beat and even too fast. So you rush, like when you stutter, you play too many notes and you cram them. And I, I remember my experience with rushing one of my first ones. I was, well, I was probably rushing before that, but I was in college and I played at Parker Head at probably Anthropology or some rhythm change, sorry, flies. And, and I was playing ahead and the drummer just went, oh, let's stop, uh, Mark, watch out. You just rushed on that final thing. I was like, oh yeah, all right. So we were recording the rehearsal, of course, and sorry, flies. And uh, then I listened back, I'm like, oh, that's right, I am rushing. I'm playing too fast at that point, but not just too fast, but like I'm losing control. So here's a point. If you play, for instance, that Parker head, you play confirmation, all right? You play that 120, that's all well and good. But here's an exercise you can try. That's, it's like, <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> it's free. It's like shutting up. It's totally free and it's gluten free as well. You can just do that, put it at 120, play your confirmation. Like, oh, it sounds okay, right? Then crank it go 10% faster, go to 132 and keep pushing. There's a point where you'll find some of your lines within the head are, uh, ah, cloud, that's nice. Just a little bit less sun. Um, you'll find that you rush, you listen back to like, oh, I was totally out of time. I went ahead of myself and I blah, blah, blah. So that's when you lose control, we rush. And that's everybody, all musicians, all level. Nobody's like slacking off and playing slower. We always will rush for things that, that seem out of control and will tense up. You'll see it in your shoulders and you'll see it uh, everywhere. You have tension in your body. So the lesson here is record yourself playing something you're comfortable with and then listen to yourself. Then play it faster, the exact same thing and faster and faster and faster until, oops, sorry, shaky phone, until you feel a portion of it is falling apart. And when it does fall apart, you'll notice that you play too fast and you rush. And that's the part where you will work on. So the stuff that you don't rush, you don't work on. You don't have to go and review. Just work on the parts that show they need work. So that's an incredible assessment tool. And you don't need to judge yourself, right? To go, oh, I played too fast. That's bad. Oh, I'm not. You say, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's just a measuring stick. Don't, don't be too hard on yourself. Just say, okay, I rushed at that portion. It just means that... I haven't internalized it as fast as well to play it as fast. So when you internalize it something very, very deep, it will just come out naturally, even if you're playing it fast, right? So even challenging passage, like talking about confirmation, it's pretty hard. So if you play confirmation at 120, try to play it at 160 and see which parts fall apart. Probably not the beginning. It's gonna be fine. Probably like the B section and other little passages, you'll be like, ah, maybe I need to change my fingering. Maybe I need to practice it slower. So find a part where you rushed and take the tempo way down. Rehearse it slowly via mini loops. Use the scotch tape method. That's also one of my measuring tools, my practice tools. And then get back and see if you can play it faster and faster and it will stop falling apart. On that note, that's Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net for the jazzguitarlessons.net vlog in the sun. Uh, if you'd like to have more information about uh, working one-on-one -on -one with me, just use the link below or go to nextlevel.jazzguitarlessons.net. We'll book a call. I'll show you the roadmap. We'll talk. It's totally free of charge, of course, where we'll talk for 15 or, 15 or so minutes so you get an idea of how we can work together. And uh, if not, I will see you on the blog, jazzguitarlessons.net. Improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher and on this YouTube channel. All right, take care guys. Thank you, bye.